את זוריאל טיים. Just give him the book and lay some melodies out. Whatever comes out, just 
well, one of them. And I'm like, all right. I got in there and I ended up making like eight or nine songs for him. And uh, the producer was like, like, damn, like, you know, let's keep going. If you have more, like, I'll play all the songs for you and you just keep writing and writing and writing and coming out with melodies and see how it comes out. So I didn't end up rapping. You know? I just ended up writing a whole album for him. Okay. Yeah, so. And did it go anywhere? And it actually didn't go anywhere. So okay. we ended up partnering up. Uh, he liked my style and we ended up trying to work things out as a, as a duet. Uh-huh. Duo. Yeah, yeah, duo. Yeah. Yeah. But I ended up getting, at the end, I ended up getting, you know, a shoulder. Yeah, shafted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, okay, so at this point, how old were you? I was like 16, 17 years old. Okay. So after you got shafted, <laughs> I never heard that word before. <laughs> Shaft is like the polite way to say I got fucked over. <laughs> so you get shafted, and then you go to what did you start doing after that? Um, so after that, I I, I, I guess I discover a true passion for for music. I, I realized that it wasn't. You know, I'm thankful for that opportunity because it actually showed me that not just people that know people can make it, you know, and, and, and if you work hard enough, then you can too. Oh, absolutely. You Listen, I'm a, I'm, I'm a true believer and I've always said this, that hard work always pays off. It always pays off. You just have to just stay keep, consistent. Keep, you got to stay on it consistently until there's no tomorrow. Yeah, correct. So, uh, you know, uh, when I was young growing up, I was like, like in Mexico, man, I mean, it, if you don't have money, if you don't know anyone, I mean, there's no way. Yeah, the opportunities, know. I would say, from Mexico down to South America are just very, very hard. I mean, yeah, some of you, we're lucky, got the hookup, or you came for money, yeah. you'll make it, you yeah. know? There's some of the big artists out there that their parents are, like, maybe CEOs. Or oh, like, yeah, yeah, for know? sure, for sure. And, and they get into it. So, uh, by me, being in the U.S., I'm like, that's a huge step. So, right. So, like, uh, I'm going to try my best to... to make it happen the best way I could. So after you got shafted, did you start writing your own music? Did you start like yeah. setting up a little studio uh, in your house? Like I started writing my own music. I didn't really know much about music production or uh, instruments at all. I was okay. just writing music and I, I, I had to contact maybe um, different producers. But the hard, the hard part is that the type of music that I wanted to make, uh, there was no producers in LA that could relate to it. And what music was that? I was trying to do maybe like tropical music, like bachata, reggaeton, okay. uh, and every producer that I could come up, that I could uh, meet with, it was either into the regional mexicano or okay. um, hip hop, so okay. hip hop, so, or they didn't know Spanish, and it, it was just tough, and tough, right. you know, but I, I made it work with a couple, and a couple people, and the quality was bad, um, obviously, uh, at the time, I didn't, I could buy a car, but I didn't. I didn't want to buy a car because I was making payments into music production. So okay. I was making monthly or weekly payments right. into getting this music out, and I was just borrowing my dad's truck to to get to these locations. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And then um, I know you mentioned before that you worked with um, Prince Royce, right? I I actually didn't work with them, but we sold. Uh, I actually worked for um, a, a label. Uh, it was like a small label in LA. We made, uh, we're, we used to get together, we made a couple songs. I actually made some songs for myself, uh, which is, uh, one of them is Pasa de la Vida, which is out, out on YouTube right now. Okay. Um, and uh, we, we get together and work on songs, write songs. So I wrote a bunch of songs with them, and one of these songs turns out that um, I actually didn't speak to, to the producer for a while, and then, you know, when we, when we came back to record another song, he was like, hey, guess what? You remember that one song we recorded? I was like, yeah, well, we sold it to Prince Royce. And I was like, oh, great. I never actually met him, but um, it was cool that he picked one of the right. songs that I, that I collaborated on. Um, so I know he paid them. I think he paid them anywhere from six to $8,000 for the song, but I never saw my part. Okay, you got shot it again. Yeah, I got shot it. Yeah, man, and this music is, is, is like, actually, not just music, but the entertainment business, it's, it's all about... Uh, being really careful because people are out there to just use manipulate you. you, use you, and, right. and, and you know, take your money, man. Right. I mean, those shows where, where not only am I putting out my work for free, but they're also asking me to sell tickets and, and go above and beyond, you know, right. and, and, and it sucks, man, because I mean, you're 
you're trying to get your music out there, but there's people that are just taking advantage of it. Right, right. So yeah. you're at the studio, he tells you, you never see any money, and then where do you go from there? Uh, we're going to, hey, well, if I don't see my money, you know, can, can I get some, some beats or something, you know, and uh, we agreed on uh, maybe a couple songs, maybe three or four songs, and um, he, we actually created some songs, and at the time, this label was from, originally, they were, the guys, they are all from Puerto Rico. Okay. Um, so, they left to Puerto Rico. I finished, like, an EP. Uh, we have maybe, like, three songs ready to put out right after. Uh, this was about, about maybe a year and a half ago, or two years. It was right after I put out one of my music videos. And they left to Puerto Rico, and um, I sent the file. We, we rented a studio right here in Berlin, and... Uh, we we borrow the computer and all that because I didn't have a computer at the time. Right. So um, we record the EP, send it to the producer who, who is in Puerto Rico so he can mix it and master it. Um, next thing you know, <clears throat> he tells me, oh, it's going to take maybe two, three weeks. Next thing you know, I think this was like maybe on a Tuesday. And I think by, uh, I'm not exactly sure, but a couple days or a few days later, Maria happens. Maria happens. Uh, the, the kill camp. Oh, okay. And I didn't hear back from anyone from Puerto Rico. Like I have a couple of friends in Puerto Rico. I didn't right. hear back from any of them for like three or four months. That and happened about what? Two years ago? Two, uh, about two years yeah, ago. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I, I didn't hear back from anyone, and and then we're going through like virus and stuff like that. So I was like, well, I don't know. I mean, I, I just all I hope is that they're okay. Right. Uh, and music can wait. Uh, when I finally heard back from them, he was like, well, file, like, I lost everything, like, everything's lost, so, so I was gone. We agreed on rebuilding everything, but... You, you didn't have the file saved? No, man, and that's one of the biggest mistakes I, wow. I've ever made. How, how do you not save it? Um, rookie mistake? Rookie mistake, yeah, yeah, I... I I should have had a. I, I never bought a hard drive like on my own, like you know? An external hard drive? An external hard drive, or I didn't have a computer at the time, so... Uh, we we used uh, we transfer which uh, right. the file like well, when he told me that I went back into the link and tried to download it but it was it had already expired wow so I was like uh, I was kicking myself in the head with that right. you know so that's gone man you know like a lot of there was a lot of hours on it money you know money that I had saved that I right. spent on studio time now it's all gone and uh, producer came back we ended up talking about maybe getting getting this music again and he just stopped replying to me you know out of nowhere i think he ended up doing something else and we just stopped com communication with him i hit him a couple times but we never never so really... it's this is probably like what mid 2018 2018 i want to say late late 2017 2018 okay so after maria i don't know man. <laughs> okay so then um your file is gone you're pretty much dead in the water man, literally I'm, yeah i was ready yeah. to give up you know i was like I'm done, man. I may, this is maybe this is a, a sign from God telling me that it's not for me. Okay, you know? so then what did you end up going to do after that? Did you like go start working? Did you? I, I mean, I was bombed. <laughs> <laughs> I I I've always had a job, you know. I've always, okay. Always had a nine to five job, or I've been working my whole life ever since I was a little kid, you okay. know. And um, so I just started dedicating myself to working, you know. I was trying to market my video still, the video that I had out, trying to like send it to people on YouTube, uh, Facebook, ev everywhere, I, everywhere I can, uh, I could. And um, I came across, on Instagram actually, I came across a post, uh, one of my friends, JP, posted uh, an email from Lil Dicky. I don't know if you... Yeah, Lil Dicky was like a little rapper. He's a rapper, rapper right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lil Dicky asking him for, for beats. And at the time, I'm like, I need beats, you know, I need cool beats. So I'm like, I hit him up. I was like, hey, man, if you happen to have some beats, like, please send them my way out. I'm, I'm willing to write. I'll write for free. I don't, I don't care, man. I just I just want to work. Uh, he didn't hit him up <laughs> for like 15 days. And then like, maybe like two weeks after, he posted a picture. He was in San Juan in my hometown in Mexico. And uh, I'm like, hey, like, what are you doing there? And he's like, this is my hometown. And I'm like, get out of here, bro. I'm like, I'm from that place too. And he's like, no way. I always thought you were Puerto Rican. I'm like, so San Juan is where? So San Juan, Juan, high school. Uh, okay, high school. Yeah. Okay. So he he's like, I 
I thought you were Puerto because the label I was working with, they were all from Puerto Rico. Right, right, makes sense. You know, so I'm like, nah, like I'm from that place. Uh, maybe about a week later after that, he hits, hits me up and he's like, hey, come to the studio. Uh, I want to do a writing session with you. I'm like, all right, cool. I showed up to the studio. I asked him, though, like, hey, so how? Like, I, I remember you didn't even, you were ignoring me and all. He's like, well, I have a friend, she, has a, she owns a label. She was looking for a specific, specifically a Mexican artist. She didn't want anything else. She wanted a Mexican artist. And when you told me that, I was like, that's perfect. Right. You know, you're from my hometown, and, and we clicked. You know, that guy's humble as hell, man. I love that guy, and he's helped me so much. You know? All right, so now it's uh, 2019. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you go to the studio, and you start writing? Actually, or? it's 2018. You know, it's okay. like maybe August 2018. Okay. And I go to the studio. Um, so first time I show up to the studio, Janae, uh, another writer is there. And uh, she, uh, for those that don't know, Janae, she, she wrote Empire State of Mind for Jay-Z. Okay. And so she's a great uh, uh, writer. I showed up, I didn't know who she was. Um, I didn't know how successful JP was. I just showed up there, ready to work. Okay. She started playing some beats for me and uh, we started vibing. Uh, we started uh, just creating melodies to it. They like my music. They buy me again, like maybe the next week. And by that next week, uh, Janae, who's a uh, husband, he's a, a producer and a video producer. She's like, hey, my, my husband made a beat and I can see your vocals in it. Uh, can you can you lay something on it? And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll try. She, she plays it for me, I lay something on that and I translate it for her because she doesn't speak Spanish and she, she just loved it. So at the time I still didn't know who she was and then she kind of introduced herself and she kind of she kind of told me like yo I don't like to tell people who I am just because I want to see how people are right you know? right so and it makes sense you know yeah like, yeah so uh, we just clicked and we became a really good team and ever since then we, we've been working together so are you under what label now or so I'm I'm not officially signed but we do have a, a, a verbal um, I want to say contract verbal contract where we work uh, four songs four videos. And we shop around for a distribution. Now you know verbal doesn't count. Uh, I know, <laughs> but I trust. I trust my team, and, and even if I get screwed over, man, I, I, I I'm I'm living the dream right now. Are you? you know, every time I go into the studio, I'm gonna tell you uh, something. Control, uh, you know? the, when I went into business, I I met with my attorney, and he said two things to me. He's like, first of all, you gotta write me a check for five hundred dollars. What? Cut the check. I'm gonna tell you two things. Number one, three words, CYA. No CYA is? Cover your ass. Number two, assume. Don't assume, because assume makes an ass out of you and me. Mm -hmm. My $500, please. <laughs> Best $500 I ever spent. Because, <laughs> you know, you always have to cover your ass. Yeah, you know, listen, hopefully, it works out for you, and, and they, they're true people, and they stand by their word. But in L.A. in these days, you can't trust anybody. I would get something in writing, you know. Mm -hmm. um, if they are if they believe in you and they're willing to work with you, they should put something in writing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I, I completely understand that, you know. But um, to me, it's... Uh, I went from paying hundreds of dollars in the studio to not paying anything at all, so... Uh, Completely, spo completely, completely sponsored by them, you know, and it's. I understand what you're saying, but and it is true, but it, in my case, I think it's just. I just love what I'm doing, you know. It's like it's not, it's not work. It's I, I love. I mean, you love the craft. You love the music. I, I I totally understand all that. But at the end of the day, if they took your music and sold it right now, you'd be fucked. In a way, <laughs> if, if if one of your songs went top one anywhere and made millions of dollars, you would see zero. Yeah, but I wouldn't make any money uh, on that. Um, but I think what comes after that, it's what the real reward is. You know what I mean? Like, so you're no one, no one knows me right now. So even if I wanted to sell my music, no one's gonna buy it. Yeah, but nobody knew Jay Z. Nobody that. knew. Uh, little Dicky, nobody knew correct many people. Yeah, so correct. what's the difference? That's true. That's true. Um, 
But I mean, I, I understand, you know, but I just trust that uh, money will come after, uh, you know, after the, the hard work. You hope. You know? I, I, I know it will. After, All right. You know? And if it doesn't, then I, I'm doing what I love, you know? <laughs> um, Break. So you're not signed. Huh? You're not signed. I'm not signed. You're not. Yeah, so we don't know who hears this, right? So you're not signed, and saying you are signed is a big difference. Okay. So you're not signed, um, mm -hmm. and you do have you do have some uh, split sheets, remember? Well, before we drop the songs, we do split sheets. Yeah. So you oh, have. Means you do have. You have boundaries. Mm -hmm. But we haven't signed like a actual thing just before we drop the song. We no. Yeah. Sheets. So you're independent, you're not, but you're yeah. not. But okay. You're not independent, meaning you're not signed, and you do have. Um, you're not on a record label, but yeah, you're, you're not, not on a okay, okay. Jack. Yeah. yeah. So you're not. So so um. Just because I know. So he saying. yeah no 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 I know what you're saying so um basically he's an independent con he's, a, he's an, an independent, independent contract he's an independent artist mm -hmm. yeah so and on paper there's legal boundaries that say. This is the role in this business thing, the item, the product, the song. You do this, you own this much. You do this, you own this much. So he's an independent artist, and he happens to have projects with these people. Do you want to jump in and do this? Um, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah, I think you should jump in okay. on this. Yeah, how do we do it? How do we transition? Sit, sit down right here. How do we transition into that? And, and where cool. do we cut? <laughs> uh, no, let's go back to where... Because you guys have good stuff in there. Yeah, so let's go back. I don't want to Can we hear it? Yeah, yeah. You want me to just play it back? Yeah, play it back like about. Give me about. Um, give me about forty five. Uh, give me about two minutes back. Like for like, like a solid three or four minutes. Let me see what's going on like over here. I think it's just from the beginning of the question. Just thirty seconds in. It's all right there. Okay, right there. there. So I am the, when he says after he says I'm officially signed, you come in. Oh, okay. Then be like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> let, let's set it. Let's set this. No, maybe we should just when when, I, when yeah. you say what label, then we can. Say no, when you say I'm officially signed, no, we need to hear the I'm officially signed. Then he cuts in and says, whoa, 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 no, you're not signed yet. Wait, but there hasn't been an, even an introduction to me, so it's like, that's why I want to make it kind of as, as smooth as possible. No, no, no. So what I want you to do is say, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, okay, so now we have Zudia's okay. manager, mm -hmm. Renee, okay. right? Yeah. And so enlightening us, Renee. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Imagine then, me like these yeah, things matter. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> there's a thing that we're missing here, Renee. Tell us what it is, okay? All right. All right. I don't have to hear, right? I don't. Really you don't really need to put on that. Okay, cool. I, I mean, oh, is this on actually? Because we turned this off, right? Yeah, yeah. I turned that one back up. Uh, does it sound like you hear it? Like the echo? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Are you can hear no, me? No, I'm going to talk. Yeah, I think I turned it down. I can hear you. Yeah, okay. Why is that an echo? I've been hearing echo the whole time, so I just stopped bitching about it. Yeah, okay. Go back a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So do you want to just like. It doesn't matter exactly where we punch in because I can always just edit it to fit in that spot if you just want me to start the recording. And okay, so um, where we said, he says he's signed. This part just go. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, like this uh, right over here, I think, right? No, 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 I started back again. Yeah, yeah, no, no, go, go back. back to where he says he's signed. Then we can just insert like a second silence. Yeah. I'm like, unless, uh, unless there's a secret bank account with a couple of thousands, a couple of hundreds of thousands, we're not signed. Yeah, I thought it was on there. Well, I mean, he can, in, like he said, I think it'd be easier for him. He can just insert after. Because he still has to cut it anyways, no? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I could just splice we'll, and get it in. Yeah, we'll, we'll just, just continue. Yeah. Because yeah. I can just go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. And then you just insert the one second side. Here, this is what we'll do. Yeah. Let's start fresh. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, signed. And then you go, whoa, 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 whoa. That way we have a marker. 
Oh, you have a marker for him, oh. but it's going to transition. Right. Through. I'm going to say signed, and you say, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll be like, whoa, before you say anything, why don't you introduce yourself? Introduce yourself. Okay. And then, and I'll say, it seems like you have something to say, mm-hmm. and that's what you kick it in. Okay. All right? Okay. I mean, I found the spot if you want to watch it. Oh, it goes in here? Yeah. This is now officially signed. No, I said I meant to say I'm not officially signed. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, but you said officially. Signed. Yeah, you said of, I'm officially signed. No, I said I'm not officially signed. No, on the no, audio. No, on the audio, is, I'm officially signed. I said no. I said I'm. I'm you not. Said I'm now. Okay. I'm, but now. I said I'm now. now but I, I meant to say I'm yeah. not officially signed. Okay. All right. So. So can we? Can I? Can we do that? I mean, do you guys want to do it as like the? No, that's you, like burst in with the for like more comedic effect, or you want to just redo? Yeah, because I meant to say I'm not officially. Yeah, but we're gonna lose no. all the, all that you that's, said. That's what he meant. That so instead of just redoing it completely, we're just gonna jump right in now. And right now, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna say signed, or you're signed. I'll say you're signed, and you go whoa 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 whoa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's where you come in. Okay. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, here, I'll just place you in over there and then I'll just edit audio to get to it. Okay. You're signed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just okay, whoa, 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 wait. Before we, <laughs> before we go in here, obviously somebody has something to say. And uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, so my name's Renee and I'm uh, the video's manager. Okay. Um, so I, yeah, so I just had to jump in there real quick. Uh, definitely want to stay quiet, but so there's a big, uh, you know, we're working with people. Okay. Um, but we're, you know, he's not officially signed with anyone yet. Okay. Um, but there are projects and collaborations with like the people you mentioned, you know, with the writers and the producers. So if he's not, so technically he's unofficially not signed. He's an independent artist, yeah. And so an independent artist, is he, for the people that are listening to this, is he, does he have some legal something on the side or? yeah so if you're if you're a smart independent artist or smart you're human in general right you work with people and you have things in writing correct so in this case yeah he's on his own like you know most people think a record label so in this case he doesn't have that yet um but he does have you know certain legal uh documents with the, the different people that he collaborates with so that's the big biggest difference between independent artist and signed artist. Okay, so you have this label behind us. So let's just set the record straight here. He is an independent artist. <laughs> He's an independent and artist and open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's break that. Go ahead, break that. Okay. And then I'll go to him now. All right. Cool. All right. What now? I'm just going to go back to the interview with him. Okay. okay. Do you want me to splice back into where you, what you were doing before? Because you guys were still kind of on the... Can I hear it? Yeah, yeah, like what you were doing. Yeah, because that yeah. sounded so well. Yeah. I think most of what you were just saying was like you guys. He was commenting on the sign part. So whether we yeah. say I, whether I interrupt it or not, that sign part sounds perfect. Yeah. Okay. Right. Or yeah, I mean, yeah. his commentary about the Be, legal. Yeah. Look at look it out for yourself. Yeah. That's yeah. just regular normal yeah. stuff. Wait, what? Oh, we're just picking up the transitions to get to sure at all. I don't know if it'll make as much sense contextually. Like after you bust in, because you're kind of like trying to figure out the logistics with him. But then if he already, he already explained. Yeah, it. he already oh, explained yeah. it. So yeah, it made doesn't. I think we should just cut that. Yeah. Honestly, like um, if you want to just get yeah, do it, do do the transition right now and then see what it sounds like. Okay. Here, let me just um, get back over here. Yeah, this is the shit that happens. And we continue. So you're technically we understand that we know you're an independent artist, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. So, no. I was asked if you're ready, and then you just went. Oh yeah, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Uh, here, you want to just? I'm just gonna start it. I'll spark it. All right. Okay. So we know that you're an independent artist. That is correct. Okay. So let's go back. You're working with JP. JP Mel yeah. Rosestone. And. Who's the other girl? Uh, Danae. Okay, so we're going to JP and Janae. You're working and you continue writing or? 
Uh, I write, yeah, not only for myself, but for other artists. It's okay. And then um, I believe you have done, what, two videos now? Uh, two videos with uh, Ben Aka. Okay, so you guys agreed on what, four songs? Uh, four songs. The goal is to make four songs and um, four videos. Okay, four songs, four videos. And the reason to make these four songs and these four videos is for? Uh, we're looking for a better distribution. Oh, you're looking for label? Uh, or how does it work? Distribution more than anything. Uh, we're, we're looking to stay independent, uh, but uh, we figure if we can get someone to distribute the music or help us with the distribution, it's, 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 a, it's a huge help. So let, let me give you an example. I'm an artist and I'm looking for uh, distribution. So distribution would be a company like Priority Records or? Um, yeah, so like with distribution, it can be a, a label. Like labels have these different departments. Some companies, some companies that just have just work on distribution, um, but also labels are involved in that. So basically, what we want to do is there's certain songs and videos that you go and pitch them to a distribution company, and they're like, let's partner, and we'll pay this to help you, you know, send it off to the masses. And from there, that's where you share the profits or whatever comes from. Oh, it almost sounds like it's better for the artist and because you get more money towards you yeah and that that way you're able to keep your that way you can still maintain that independent freedom right because you're not set you're not signed to a certain project for the next five years you're not set in stone with certain people you're still able to roam around okay and you're able to distribute whatever so you're project. not basically locked down yeah you're not locked down that's okay. the pro the biggest pro with that okay so you guys are looking for any um anybody fighting um can't talk about it too much okay um but that's so it's fair to say there are some people interested you, there's people yeah. hearing the project yeah okay yeah. so that's a positive right yeah okay I'm and then forward to that. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually i'm dying to put that music out man. <laughs> uh, so you need a distribution to launch your music then yeah if you want to send it off to the masses, yeah. So you know, you could we could create a record a song even today, right? Put right. it online. But imagine, think about all the artists that are putting music every imagine. single day. Yeah, like on SoundCloud. Yeah, on SoundCloud. Imagine the thousands and thousands. Like of songs. my podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like it's like you're figuring, everyone's figuring out a way to go through the noise. Right. And that's where the these companies kind of come in and can help you out, but put you through their pipeline. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's much harder now. Yeah, it's way harder now. So even with the distribution, even with the company behind you, right? You're still the audience at the end of the day. So, so let me ask a question. We're trying to get my music into, you know, when you go into a restaurant and you go take a lick, and then you hear that music on top. Yeah, people would use um, sp um Shazam. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, like who, who is it? I've done it before. Like what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Taking a poop or whatever, yeah. and you're like, wait, what? That song is popping. You know? Yeah, no, I've done it. I've been there. I'm like, whoa, what's this? That? Let me Shazam that real quick. Yeah, whether you're in an elevator, whether you're at right. a casino, and there's all this like 